Exploring and presenting the wonderful diversity of books, arts, music, storytelling, and ideas that define the Hawaii community. That's what's on tap this weekend at UH Manoa for the annual Hawaii Book and Music Festival. Joining us now to talk story are Doug Chin, HBMF board member, and Ellen Galinsky, the author of The Breakthrough Years. Aloha and good morning, Ellen and Doug. Thank you so much for stopping morning. by. So, Doug, what can we expect to find at the Book and Music Festival? Okay, so if people are looking for something that's very interesting and free, um, they should come down to uh, the University of Hawaii campus at Manoa. Um, we're going to be having a weekend of 140 different events with authors and musicians uh, at the Hawaii Book and Music Festival from 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Yeah, so come down to UH Manoa, wonderful experience. So, yeah, what can folks, when they get there, what can they, can they expect to see and find? Well, um, this festival used to be uh, over by Honolulu Hale, so I think a lot of people might remember that it's, in, it's actually in its 18th year. Uh, this is the first year we're having at the University of Hawaii. You come at any time, you're going to find um, different tents and, um, and different classrooms where there's authors that are presenting on some very interesting subjects. Um, I used to bring my family here all the time, and it's a, it's a really great event. Yeah, also, of course, a great place to bring kids. Ellen, you will be speaking there. Uh, can you tell us about the new book that you've written? It's called The Breakthrough Years, and it brings together what we know about the newest research on the brain development of kids with what kids want us to know about their own development. And I asked Doug, what would parents want to be talking about? And he said, phones. Yes. So it's yeah. the same everywhere. <laughs> and I think um, one of the things about phones that's important is that kids need limits. They need guardrails to feel safe. But they also need autonomy. They need to begin to learn the skills for how to manage this on their own, particularly teenagers, which is what the Breakthrough Years is about. Um, they know that their parents won't always be there. So they don't want us to fix it for them. They want us to help them learn how to fix it for themselves. So I think limits plus autonomy um, is one way to, to manage phones. And usually we're talking a lot about cell phone bans and schools and that sort of thing. And I think those are good. But if we don't involve kids in helping to solve the problems, they're not going to know how to solve this problem and other problems um, as they grow up. Yes, it's such an important topic for us to tackle. And yes, we're raising kids not to be kids, but to become adults. And with becoming an adult becomes autonomy, right? And so to, to use those cell phones the, productively. There is, a, there is a strong need for some autonomy. For mm -hmm. example, efforts to stop bullying or stop smoking until people figure it out that kids need to learn skills, not just what not to do, but what to do. They didn't work. So I think bringing together this research from also with what kids tell us uh, is a, a very novel approach to helping raise kids who thrive. Yes, Ellen, well said. Doug, where can folks go to get more information? All right, here's the website address. It's www.hbmf.online. And if I'm wrong about that, um, please use your search engine. Just look up Hawaii Book and Music Festival. It'll take you right there. Yeah, easy to use the Google machine. We'll also have it posted on our website, kh12.com. So, yes, folks. And we'll, I'll, I'll be answering you. parents' questions about teenagers. So yeah. come to my session and whatever you are caring about with teenagers, come and I'm happy to talk about it. Yeah, as a parent, I can't wait to stop by your session. And I'll be out there. I'll be out there at 1130 on Sunday. I'll be at the Keiki Reading Tent. Oh, so fantastic. I'm going to bring some of my favorite kids' book that I've read to my kids over the years. So oh. hopefully that turns out well, folks. So, yeah, we'll be out there. Thank Sounds you, Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you so much, Doug and Ellen. Appreciate you joining us.